We operate a 24-7 business, so we have to make sure that our power generation assets, our gas contract and the pipeline gas that we have flows and is delivered at all times. It's one of the key cornerstones for Uniper is delivering security of supply. It's what we're built on and our reputation is founded on making sure that happens. And of course, therefore, we need systems to make sure that's done. Those systems can be very complex and as a result, they can be very expensive. And as a pan-European business, we had honestly tens if not hundreds of systems all pulling together to deliver that. So Sharp was a program about system harmonisation to try and rationalise the number of systems we've got across our European portfolio to lower our cost base, but also to make sure that we continue to deliver the excellent level of service and the excellent level of reliability that we've experienced to date. The pipe dream really refers to the cloud element, to the technology we used here. When we first started Sharp, I don't even think we contemplated that we would be putting anything in the cloud because fundamentally this is our 24-7 business. We have to be up. To take the leap of faith to move into something virtual, which is not in our control, was a very big ask. And to be honest, the maturity of what we call cloud wasn't known at the time. And so the big leap of faith was to go with Power Microsoft in that direction to try to do the lessons learned and the learning game as we did it, and then to be where we are today, which is with a live system in the cloud, which I think would have been a pipe dream three years ago. So Powell really accepted the challenge to go in the cloud and saying, yes, we will make our solution cloud ready. And that is an important commitment. You need to go in a full cloud solution. So if I look at the Powell integration platform that is using the cloud services at its best. And of course, you can apply the old way of delivering into the cloud. But if you would like to have a scalable solution and make use of all the opportunities in the cloud, you need to go in this direction. And that showed us especially that uh, Paul is innovative and is eager to accept these challenges and is eager to go in this direction and is also able to deliver these things in the end. For being the first mover in the cloud, I have to admit that I'm really coming from the traditional world. You need some dispatch system on premises. So it was feel a little bit, oh, we are doing something which really is uh, getting out of the comfort zone for me personally, also for the teams. But finally, we made it and we experienced a lot of advantage of that one. So after we were finished, I was proud on what we delivered. And it was really the team, especially with Paul, Unipro IT, and with our business resources. We have driven a massive change. We have implemented the cloud solution. We have handed over different processes from different locations to Düsseldorf or to Sundsvall. And finally, we have stabilized our environment. We are leaner, we are quicker, we are innovative. The very, very immediate biggest impact is the fact that we are the very first major system to go into the cloud. This is the big headline for us. We are looking at doing this for some other systems, but PAL was the first, and it's a very complex business to put into the cloud. And it's a very critical business, it's a 24-7 business. We've achieved a significant cost reduction working with Powell and Microsoft, moving from our legacy system with very high support and hardware costs into a cloud-based solution where we're supported partly by our own internal staff and also by Powell. So it's a real partnership that's delivered. The energy world has gone through massive changes and I can only see that accelerating and moving on. And one of the big benefits of work with Powell and Microsoft, one of the reasons we select that partnership was because of the flexibility. And so I'm confident that we've got the right partner because as we see more and more change in the energy world, we are going to have to adapt and be agile in terms of the solutions we implement for the next phase or the next market that we choose to focus on.